Hi, in this video, we'd like to discuss why hyperemesis and morning sickness are completely different conditions that are not supposed to be correlated, but it's easily confusing as well. So, many women in their lifetime, they will not be experiencing hyperemesis gravidarum, regardless of how many pregnancies you've been through. Only a small subset of women experience hyperemesis gravidarum. Now as to why these two are closely linked, there are several reasons actually. Even medical professionals themselves, uh, even though they are educated on the topic, but they themselves are unable to clearly identify or they don't put any emphasis because of how rare it is. A doctor can go through his entire medical career without encountering a single hyperemesis case. But a specialist hospital that deals with hyperemesis gravidarum like Anti Hospital, we see thousands of them every year. Now we know that it's very real not to be mixed with morning sickness and it is a potentially life-threatening disease as well which is why that we offer you effective treatment now we can get to that at the end of the video now morning sickness and hyperemesis gravidarum are constantly mixed uh, together uh, one is confused to be the other they believe it's the same thing uh, because they share similar symptoms now both patients will experience vomiting some nausea and also some form of uh, mood swings and in, uh, sleeplessness it's expected in normal pregnancy when women develop morning sickness now, up to 90 percent of women develop morning sickness and uh, most doctors believe it to be a normal pregnancy symptom which in fact it is However, hyperemesis gravidarum, although they experience similar symptoms, they experience more than that and it is very severe. So severe until that it can affect fetal life and maternal life. It is a primary cause for miscarriage, recurrent miscarriage and also potential maternal death. So which is why uh, videos like this that bring awareness on its existence, why we need to put more emphasis and also why anti is also providing this type of treatment to actually prevent maternal death, prevent that types of miscarriages. It's a very important. So we need your help to actually share these types of videos to HG survivors for those who want future pregnancies. Now the symptoms that we want to talk about with hyperemesis include four predominant ones. First of all is the nausea, which is constant and torturing throughout the entire pregnancy. Now, unlike morning sickness, Hyperemesis gravidarum lasts for the entire pregnancy. Now that's incredibly torturing. It will be lasting for up to seven to eight months of pregnancy. Now can you imagine the amount of stress the mother is under and while at the same time carrying a pregnancy? Second of all is the constant violent vomiting of not just the contents of the stomach, but it includes bile, blood as well, and also the inner lining of the stomach. So there's some damaging damage is done to the structures of the stomach as well and they are unable to put down any food it will just constantly be regurgitated it will lead to other complications as well down the line third of all is the insomnia now because as we discussed in our multiple videos uh, this uh, pregnancy disorder this pregnancy disease uh, is closely related to the sleep regulating zones the vomiting zones and several glands and organs of the body because of ECG and abnormal receptors that these women have. So the slightest disturbances of the environment, whether it's loud sound, light, smell, all of these can actually affect their uh, stability, can cause them some disturbances in their sleep. Even the most minor ones can cause uh, massive anxiety, massive mood swings. So it's also a neurological condition as well and eventually it will also lead to um, major depression as well and they are unable to get the rest that they need and imagine that it lasts for the entire pregnancy and fourthly which is another predominant one is a constant salivation now this constant salivation is caused by these salivary glands being constantly activated because of the receptors and HCG hormone during pregnancy now these salivation can get so severe that it's constantly leaking where these women need to carry plates or bowls or even pails around just to carry out their daily life activities and it can be very detrimental to their daily life quality of life many of them cannot go to work as well so with these four predominant symptoms 
a side that has several other complications as well. Uh, as I've mentioned, the mental anxiety, the depression, the loss of weight, the electrolyte imbalance, the gestational heartburn, and the gestational diabetes, so on and so forth. There are several conditions closely linked with this a rare and complex disorder and if not managed properly and in time with the effective treatment it can potentially lead to a, poten a, re or a miscarriage or even something that we do not want which is maternal and fetal death so as to morning sickness that condition is a normal physiological response of pregnancy and only lasts for a few weeks until the first and towards the beginning of the second trimester and it won't affect your daily life you won't be vomiting bile or blood and it will not cause any disruption to the maturation of the fetus so these two conditions are separate and need separate uh, attention as well for morning sickness you simply need to just go to your doctor get it checked make sure everything is healthy and you do not need any further management for hyperemesis gyridarium this is considered a critical condition that needs immediate management and many hospitals are unable to provide that all they can do is to just manage the symptoms but still many women are still suffering regardless of what type of treatment they receive in conventional hospitals to the point where they need to abort the pregnancy just to secure their life that is why at Ante hospital to avoid all the unnecessary outcomes and trauma our hg vaccine hcg desensitizer can e effectively help you recover from hyperemesis even during the midst of pregnancy it is highly effective and we do recommend that all women suffering from hg to seek this treatment as soon as you can and even better to seek it before pregnancy so that hyperemesis will not show up uh, in your subsequent pregnancies now, this treatment is offered to all women who are seeking it and trust it anti because the results speak for themselves the moment you receive this treatment, you will already experience immediate relief, immediate recovery. You will go into deep sleep and upon waking up, your appetite is back. Your dehydration has recovered because you are drinking again, you are eating again, you are not vomiting anymore. Your hormone levels are back to normal, your electrolyte levels are back to normal, your daily life is recovered and the fetus is secured. It's healthy now. And that is what we want for all our HG survivors. So please visit our website, get in touch with us for more details, for consultation, so that we can make arrangements for you to receive this treatment as soon as you can. Now, do stay tuned for our next video. If you have more questions about HG vaccine or other topics, please leave them down in the comments below.